Kentucky family mourns a daughter, successful lawyer and NKU alumna. At the same time, Jordan Morgan's accused killer is now behind bars after days on the lam. Evan Millward has been following this case all day. He's joining us now live with new updates and how Morgan is being remembered tonight. Evan? Yeah, Tanya, Jordan Morgan's funeral just wrapped up. She certainly left a mark in her time at NKU's Chase College of Law, and she just started at a well-known Lexington law firm. Now the northern Kentucky man accused of killing her is sitting in jail, facing charges including murder. Taylor Mill resident Shannon Vince Gilday is walked out of an interrogation headed to jail in Madison County Monday afternoon. A deputy there picked him up along Barnes Mill Road near I-75 around 4.30 a.m. Yeah, we have detectives that have uh, spent some uh, time and in, in length um, with Mr. Gilday uh, just trying to learn what happened and mostly why. That's the question on so many minds nearly one week after a deadly home invasion miles away at this multi-million dollar home owned by former state rep Wesley Morgan. Sunday night, my daughter Jordan Morgan was killed by a lunatic. Morgan said he knew how Gilday got in. I was doing some work on the back porch of my house, so I had some scaffolding up on the back of it. So he, he climbed that scaffolding and broke into the upstairs door where Jordan had her, her bedroom. Morgan's family spent Monday at the funeral for the 32 year old Jordan, a former assistant Commonwealth attorney for Boone and Gallatin counties and a 2015 NKU Chase College of Law alumna. But she was actually one of the ones who would keep in touch with me. Ken Katkin had her in several classes in extracurriculars and had kept in touch. She really wanted to be um, to, to be um, an honest person in politics. And I think a lot of that um, came from um, kind of her, her religious beliefs. And that was certainly a main part of her character as I knew her. As her family and friends gather to honor her miles from where Gilday was picked up, there's the sense that closure can slowly start. Uh, we hope so, um, that this news um, will bring some kind of uh, relief. And we're, we're just thankful that, you know, the search for Gilday has come to an end. Now, investigators have said they believe Gilday targeted the Morgan home because of an elaborate bunker it has. Gilday reportedly had an obsession that a nuclear war was coming. We'll learn more potentially as this now starts to play out in court, Tanya.